Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. I'm here at Museum Context at 40 Victoria Street in Edinburgh. Let's take a tour of this magical shop. The shop has three floors. Two of the floors are merchandise, and the top floor is set up kind of like a classroom, and there is a monster hidden in the classroom. The shop sells prints by Mina Lima. You can get a variety of Mina Lima designed card holders for five pounds. These are very fun. These are Hogwarts letters. You get a pack of 12 stickers to put on your wall. The art prints range in price from 39 pounds to 179 pounds. You can purchase greeting cards with Mina Lima artwork on them for three pounds each. For 10 pounds, you can get a package of 20 postcards. A wide variety of mugs. As you can see by how the shop is set up, you really feel as though you are in this new world, this magical world. You can purchase a variety of Noble Collection items, including the magical creatures. They have a very wide variety and they are 35 pounds each. And for 10 pounds, you can get a metal wall sign, a Harry Wanted poster. Museum Context has not wasted a single inch of this shop. It is packed full of everything you can think of magical, from noble to books to wands to cine replicas items. There is a house section on the second level with merchandise from all four houses. Eight pounds for a small journal, 13 pounds for a larger one. 35 pounds for a house wax seal. They sell the official Lock Haven scarves. These are 100% lamb's wool for 35 pounds. They have all four houses. Noble Collection bookmark, 15 pounds. If you want to display your wand, you can get a wand stand for 35 pounds each house. A wide variety of plush creatures. They have them exploding out of Newt's case. 20 pounds for a Niffler. And my personal favorite, the Monster Book of Monsters. Puzzles, games, and toys. 25 pounds for puzzles. Keychains that range in price from three to nine pounds. As you can see from the way they've displayed everything, they have Harry Potter merchandise mixed in with other random items that just give it a really magical shop feel. 
And you can purchase some of these other items like a magnifying glass for 35 pounds, 59 pounds for this globe, 25 pounds for this feather pen set. Noble Collection wand pens, 13 pounds each. Wallets, purses, change purses, 12 pounds for this small purse. Passport holder, 20 pounds. They sell the Cine replica robes here for 80 pounds each. 20 pounds for a Hogwarts house hat. As you can see, this shop has everything that you could possibly want in Harry Potter, including doormats for 17 pounds. A variety of journals, including Noble Collection's Tom Riddle Diary replica for 35 pounds. This one is absolute perfection. They have all of the different Noble Collection items, including Noble Collection wands. Everything is so beautifully displayed. It would not be a magical shop without a candy section. And of course, the most important part of being a wizard, you have to have a wand. All noble wands in the Ollivander replica box or the character box are 39 pounds. 50 pounds for the light up wands. And the remote wands, which can control a TV or DVD player, anything that is infrared, for 69 pounds. Museum Context also sells the Lock Haven sweaters. The Quidditch replicas are 85 pounds, and the Hogwarts house sweaters are 65 pounds. Madame Mulkin's robes for all occasions, house ties. They are 100% silk and they come with a display box for 45 pounds. Museum Context has a second shop. For information about that one, check the description below. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter books or collecting, please leave a comment down below. You can also contact me on Instagram, at the Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Sally. We're from Newcastle. And, and keep, keep collecting. collecting! Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?